Rhubarb Has a Cold by Joanne Roach It was a damp and drizzly April day in the garden. Rhubarb was very excited. He and his friends were going to see some daffodils. But when he woke up, he didn't feel well at all. His throat hurt, his nose was running, and he couldn't stop coughing. You've got a cold, said Big Rhubarb. You'll have to stay here and rest. But I want to go and see the daffodils, wailed Rhubarb. You can see them another time. Now tuck up, have a warm drink and get some sleep. Rhubarb tried to rest, but he kept thinking about those beautiful daffodils. He got up. I feel better now. Can I go and see the daffodils? It's you! A huge sneeze came whooshing out. You're still poorly. Go back and rest, <laughs> chuckled Big Rhubarb. Rhubarb felt pretty awful, but as he lay still, he thought about those pretty yellow daffodils. He got up again. I feel better now. Can I go? <coughs> he tried to stop, but the coughs came tumbling out. You really are quite pearly, said Big Rhubarb. Now get some rest, or you'll never get better. Rhubarb was very sad, but he tucked himself in and went to sleep. He dreamed of dancing daffodils. Wake up, Rhubarb! He woke with a start and saw cauliflower and purple sprouting broccoli standing nearby. Look, look, we've got a get well present for you, Rhubarb. Rhubarb couldn't believe his eyes. All around him were masses of beautiful prancing dancing daffodils. You couldn't come to see the daffodils, said his friends, so the daffodils have come to see you.